Um, hey guys, so this is the micro links that I installed on my model. Same model. <laughs> We're gonna be taking it down. So, so she's had it for over five weeks, and this is what her roots look like. She has a little bit of like new growth, as you guys can see. Let me bring the camera closer. Okay. All right. But yeah, so she has new growth, as you guys can see, and we're just going to take it down. She said she didn't wash her hair for the whole five weeks. <laughs> she said she's, she was scared to wash her hair. But it is sweaty, like, you know, it did kink up. It, it got kinky because you were sweating? <laughs> so you blew it out? Okay. I mean, tell them how the experience was because there's some people that haven't tried this that want to try it. Oh, yeah. So it was, um, I loved it. It was very natural to, like, just, just, it looked super natural, um, when the hair would, um, like, because I would work out. And mm -hmm. so when I would get really sweaty, um, your roots, like, they start uh, puffing up. So you just, um, I would just tie it down. But when I'm finished with my workout, I would take a blow dryer and just do, like, a little, just to uh, straighten it. And, um. If I was going out on the weekend to make it look more sleek, I would put heat to it, like I would flatter in it. Mm. But other than that, um, yeah, it stayed like how it looked in the video. It will get messy if you don't take care of it. Like, if yeah. you just have to sleep on it. Yeah. So you do have to tie your hair down. But I loved it. So many compliments. Yeah. I'm sure they thought it was your hair. Mm -hmm. So many people <laughs> was like, it's, wait, did, is your hair always been this long? I was like, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I like about the micro lens because it just blends. You have to use the one that blends with your hair type though, because yes. this is would be great for like her hair type, like four C hair type and stuff. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I'd have to use like hair moisturizer too, because like. That's the thing, so you have to brush your hair uh, with the micro links because mm -hmm. um, you don't want it to just get tangled. Mm -hmm. um, so making sure you're brushing it daily, um, moisturizing oil, mm -hmm. um, just like your natural hair. Like I just have the plier. Why is the freaking plier? Okay. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take it down with um, her hair kind of damp because... I don't know if you guys could tell like I don't want like her hair to snag while, while I'm taking it down so I want to kind of free it up so I'm gonna spray some water on her roots just a little bit some leave-in conditioner as well but yeah I see why I sprayed the leave-in conditioner so that any hair that is kind of like snagging on the bead, I just want to free it up so I don't like um, break break her hair or anything like that. So once I have it nice and loosened up, no hair is like in the way. You guys can see it, right? Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so no hair is in the way. I'm just going to take the plier like I showed you in the video. You see it's nice and flat like this. So I'm just gonna raise it up and then just use this plier to press the bead. Just gently. Okay. Okay, it's nice and round now, so I could gently just slide it out. And that's it. So this is what it is when you take it out. Um, you guys were asking if you could re reuse it. Yes, you can reuse it. Like you could reuse this because the bead is not like cracked or broken. So it's still intact. So you could re reattach it to her hair. Um, let me see if I could do that. I'll probably do that when I'm like getting to the top. So just keep on watching. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to reattach it in the second row. Because you're going to need a different tool to reattach it if you want to reuse the hair. But yeah, just press it gently. And just slide it out. Very easy to take out. Again. You just press it gently. Okay. Okay. 
once it's round you just slide it out and she has like some build up here so make sure you spray some leave-in conditioner to soften it out so that when you comb your hair all this can easily come out again press the bead okay and then you just slide it out okay so we're taking out the first row I'm gonna detangle our hair as we go Yo, it's Sunday you guys <laughs> my I have a headache right now but listen Savannah said she couldn't take the hair out so she's like Effie can you help me take it out I'm like no problem I usually don't do my videos on Sundays so but Savannah is like my sister. Go way back. Mm hmm Okay. I'm just gonna detangle it slowly, gently. Okay. Move those build up. And this one is free. So you guys worrying about the hair breaking with this someone left a comment about oh this is not a protective style please what is not protective about this eh eh it's not protect is this your protective <laughs> i've started <laughs> is it your protective <laughs> yo but yeah what's not protective about this eh tell me see it's free I hear did not break. Her hair is still there. Her roots is still good. Eh? Very simple. Exactly. It's so simple. Let's, let's reinstall the ones that we took out so you guys can see how to reinstall it. Okay, so but first I want to show you... Um, so this is the hair because I still have some left over from you know when i use it on her so these are the brand new ones the leftover ones so what you're going to need to reinstall it you're going to need the same loop that you use to install it you're going to use it to reinstall it as well so when when you um install this loop you need to um instead of throwing away the loop you need to save it if you're going to reinstall okay so you see how all of them have the loop okay so so this is from a brand new one Okay, and this is one that we took out from her hair. Yeah, so let me use this one to show you because this one has some hair. So this is a brand new one and then this is the one that was on her hair. So to install this one that I took out of her hair now, so I'm going to take the loop from this new one. Okay, see it? And what I'm going to do is to pass the loop through the old one. So let's try to see if that's possible. <laughs> going to pass. Let me see if I could pass it through. Okay, so I pass it through the old one. All right. So it basically made it look like <laughs> like the brand new one, okay? There's always a way. There's always a way. So this is the old one that was removed, and this is a brand new one, okay? It looks just the same. Old one, new one. Just take the loop, pass it through the bead again. And now let's reinstall it. Let me take a small section. So again, to in install this, you need a small piece of hair. So I'm gonna install it into this. So 
So this is the old one, as you can see. And where's the other plier? So you can actually use the same plier for both install and remove. So <laughs> I can't find the one I used to install. So you're just going to pass the hair through the loop, like I showed you guys in the install. Okay. And just push it up. Sorry, Sav. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to press it down again. And there you go. So the same hair that was installed can be reinstalled and vice versa. And it was going to look just as good as new. Okay, so you don't have to throw away the hair. You could always reuse it. Just make sure that when you're installing it, you don't throw the, the loop. Okay. Make sure you save all this stuff. Save it all. Don't throw it away. You're going to need it to reinstall it next time. Let me take this down again. Let me take this down. So the same way to take it down, raise it up like this. And just... Push it down until it's round and slide it out. Boom. That's it. Same micro links. Use it again. You take it out. Save it for next time. Use it again. It's always there for you. You don't have to buy, buy a new one.